Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Ini Muhammad Dan Izaimi bin Muhammad Misbah Represent my team From group DJ ke UMP <coughs> To present Construction process for two story Semi media houses okay. Let me start okay. For the Our project is located at Bandar Baru Nilai At Negeri Singlan And the cost for the construction process Is about RM30 30 million and it consists 132 units of two story semi houses and is stacked since January 2021 and is fully complete in February 2022. Assalamualaikum. My name is Nik Ahmad Adham bin Nik Muhammad Rizwan. My metric number is TE22076. Okay, first this is our drawing villa which is two story semi D house. Okay, next is our company background. Our company name is Mega Contracting Group. Uh established established since 2008. Our contractor class is class D. Manager is Niam Adahan. Engineer is Amiru Farhan. Assistant engineer is Daniel. Executive is uh, Muhammad Aiman. MNE operation is Luman Hakim. Uh, thank you. That's all for me. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Mirfahan bin Syed Abdul Majid. My material number is TE2022. Okay, for my part, I will explain about our pre-construction process of this uh, our project. Okay, first of all, pre-construction activities are a crucial steps in the development of the sum project. Okay, first we have to do the land acquisition. It's the first step that involves by identifying and acquiring suitable land for the project. This process includes uh, by assessing factors like location, the zoning regulations and environmental considerations. Next, we have moved to the architectural planning. Once the land is secured, architects work on creating detailed plans that outline the design, layout and specification of the construction. This phase Involve collaboration with various stakeholders to ensure alignment with the project's goal. Next, we have to move to the loan acquisition. Securing financing is a private pre-construction activity. Developers often work closely with financial institutions to obtain loans for funding the project. To throughout financial planning and risk assessment are essential to secure the necessary capital. Next, for the last one, we have to do the permit process, permitting process. It is acquiring the required permits from local authority is a critical aspect. This involves submitting detailed plans, environmental impact assessments, and other documentation. It is to gain approval for construction. Compliance with building codes and regulation is a paramount. Lastly, these activities collectively set the stage for a smooth transition from planning to construction, helping to mitigate, mitigate potential issues and ensure the, the project progress within legal and financial parameters. That's all from me. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Rahman Hakim bin Muhammad Zaidu. My magic number is TE2207. Okay. I will present about uh, activities that we will do during the construction of this project are. So, uh, the first of all thing, we will uh, initiate the survey. We will conduct the survey such as land survey, uh, leveling and others. Then we will create the access to the site. We will create the temporary route to let the machinery to enter the site area. After the machinery enter the site area, we will begin the site clearance activity. During the site clearance activity, we will remove all unwanted things such as tree and stones. Uh, then we will uh, start construct the foundation. Either it, we will choose between uh, pet footing or rough foundation. Then we will construct the uh, column and flat, eh, column and beam uh, to accommodate the weight of the building. After that, then we will start uh, construct the slab. After finish all of this uh, structure. Um, construction we will start construct the interior such as uh, staircase 
wall. Then we will make the roof of the building. After the uh, building is finished constructed, we will install all other uh, utilities such as uh, electric and technical facilities. After we finish all of that, uh, we will do a final inspection of the building to make sure that the building is free from any defect before we pass it to the client or stakeholders. Then we will uh, apply uh, the finishing in the interior of the building and start decorate the landscape as agreed in the contract and bill of quantities. So uh, that's uh, some of the activities that we will do during the uh, construction of this building. Okay, so that, thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Aiman bin Cik Asan. My metric number is TE22062. After uh, we build the building, uh, we should uh, sign final approval. After all the building is done, we check everything once last, one or last time to make sure it just right. After that, it is sign contractor fee. Uh, and then it's hand over to client the building is finished and we give it to the person who want it uh, last is move in the new owner can start using use the building after that is for the Microsoft project is we have obtained two relationship which uh, start to start is SS and FF FF is finish to finish most of the activities are using start to start compared to finish to finish. Uh, the advantage uh, when we apply SS dependency, it can save material and save time. For example, the toilet and the kitchen can be constructed at the same time, even though uh, their complete period for both activities are different, which is one day and two days, respectively. Instead, uh, our workers use the same uh, cement to build uh, toilet and the kitchen. Uh, that's all from me. Thank you.